Hi, lovely human beings. This time we will be diving deeper into fixed star Altair in the constellation of Alkila. I always feel intuitively which star system I want to talk about. And my last few clients had a lot of Altarian connections. And so I felt an urge to deepen into this one. I wasn't aware at first that Pluto will be conjuncting Altair in February 2025 which means this timing is divinely guided for me to bring information about Alkila, Altair, to the conscious. We will see a lot of this energy in the next few months and in fact have probably already seen a lot of this energy the last months. Stay until the end of this video because there is a very powerful channeled message coming up at the end for Altarians. So if you have any Altarian connections, please stay tuned. This constellation is part of a group in the northern sky called the Summer Triangle, which consists of three birds, Cygnus the Swan, Lyra the Vulture, and Alkila the Eagle. Alkila represents the Eagle, thought to be Jupiter himself, that carried Ganymedes to heaven. Zeus fell in love with his beauty and took him as personal cupbearer. Ganymedes, a mortal, is taken to the divine higher realms here. It symbolizes man who has worked with all his might to perfect himself and then receives the grace this constellation used to be called the rising vulture or soaring vulture. He wants to go up, up high to see what's up there. And the vulture was considered a very pure and sacred animal. Even if he stuck his neck in filthy rotting carrion to devour it, none of the rotting flesh would stick to him. He will always remain clean. So it's aligned to purity. An eagle can also look straight into the sun. The sun is seen as the symbol of truth and unity and the direct connection to source. It has always been associated with fire, lightning and sun gods. In mythology, it's related to Zeus, the god of thunder and lightning. It can bring fire down to earth, hence its connection to war. Eagles are often used in military emblems. There is a lot of power in the bird, and many nations, empires and organizations, good, bad or neutral, have adopted its emblem. Like the Roman Empire, the Nazi Party, the US, the US Department of Homeland Security, the FBI, Royal Air Force, National Security Agency, Mexico, Poland, Albania, Indonesia, and many more. Alkila's brightest star, Altair, sits at 2 degrees 11 minutes Aquarius and lies at the base of its neck. It gives a very powerful aspiration, usually spiritual. The danger of that is spiritual arrogance. Through the rising of the eagle and looking down on the earthly normal crowd who are ignorant of the higher things, the higher realms which you perceive. Altair is the flight of the eagle to go higher and in a bolder fashion than anybody has before. To soar to unexplored great heights. It's the ability to rise in life with boldness of action and courageousness. The ability to achieve success through risk-taking and determination. It's a very masculine star of action and strength. One uses it not just for itself, but for others too, this strength and action. It's connected to sacred masculinity for sure, but just as well could be toxic masculinity. That is something you would have to tune in to per client. A woman with a notable placement of Alkila will be a strong feminine, 
who already has mastered the divine masculine within herself in many lifetimes. A few key words or key sentences for the ones with Altair connections are bold, confident, fearless, courageous, bravery, ambitious, broad-minded, knowledgeable, wisdom, perseverance, stubborn, rigid, demanding, authoritative, powerful, gives great imagination, a penetrating mind and clairvoyance. They hold a powerful force of energy within them. They are deeply into all forms of magic. They love heights and mountains. These souls, they have a deep wisdom, strong passion, indomitable will, a dominating character, influence over others, a position of command, respect from one's fellow beings. They are temperamental and demanding and will power through to get what they need and desire. It possibly could make you guilty of bloodshed because Altair represents war and military matters. But it doesn't have to be literal, literal war, I mean. It could be striving for the good cause. You may be thrown into situations that demand fast action, where you develop skills of leadership. You inherently and subconsciously seek difficult situations to illuminate your path to success. You will have a higher regard for independence and decisive actions. You are dominating and seek action over inaction. You always try to work from the most influential position. You seek to fight for injustices, for yourself and for loved ones. With this connection in your chart, you may have a profound connection to the Greek and Roman timelines. Now, I did some channeled writing on this one. So I just did some free writing and I saw what came up and it is quite interesting. Bear with me. Here we go. I found it on my laptop. I wrote it down. Okay. The bird that brings and takes and gets what it wants. Without doubting for a second, it is his to have. The bird that flies, rises, sees from above. The bird's eye view, oversight, overseen by the gods of the Atlantean fleet. Yes, Altarians formed part of Atlantis. It is an old star system with many small moons and artifacts around it. To peak, high on top of the Atlas Mountains is where you can find us, the source. Our presence is felt on mountaintops where the birds of prey are circling around as close as possible to the other realms. Pray with the birds, echo your sound vibration. You who are Altarians shall hear the birds call. They have an inner magical bird inside themselves, which can bring them to the higher realms. What is being an Altarian? It's being spread out, high and broad, open-minded. It is seeing the overview of things. The why of settling on earth is seen in the truth of the future, the past and the present. The overview in the now moment. We are welcomed on earth as beings of light and beings of refined art, beings of telepathy of divine existence. Masculine existence. Beings of divine wisdom and knowledge. Book knowledge. Hidden book knowledge. It's connected to book burnings in the past and the Qatars. So with a connection to Altair, you most certainly might have had Qatar lives in France. For example, I think they were in France mainly. Um, as well as Inca territory, I heard. Um, yeah. For they know how it feels to be on top alone in peace dedicated to their task here and not just here. They are in alignment with other timelines and other systems at the same time. They are multi-dimensional beings. 
what do they bring here? Refined wisdom, refined archery, pointing towards the goal they shall not miss. They bring help to the good of all. They inherit a certain specific knowledge, knowledge about specific things. They should never feel as if their weird talent is not of benefit. It is here to serve as a part which completes puzzles. A last message. Within the stillness and peace of their being lies hidden a great power. So if you are an Altarian and this resonated with you, please let me know because I think it's a very powerful, powerful message. Um, let me know what your special talents are. I'm really interested in that. Specific knowledge about specific things. Um, so yes. I wish you all the best with this information. Go check things out in your chart and let me know how that works out. Bye, see you next time.